very nice to be here. Um, yes, madam, thank you for asking. It is a new haircut. Um, no, I got this haircut, right? I got this haircut recently um, thinking it would make me look like Uma Thurman from the film Pulp Fiction. Um, but my brother tells me it's more Lord Farquaad from Shrek. <laughs> I feel like that was the collective sound of a room going, your brother's not wrong. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine, we'll march on. So yeah, I'm Maisie Adam, or as somebody uh, referred to me at last year's Fringe, um, uh, cheeky northern working class comedian Maisie Adam, uh, which gets right on my tits, right? Uh, because people hear this accent and they just assume, like, female Billy Elliot. <laughs> um, but like, I'm not working class, and I would never pretend to be working class. I'm not working class, I've had meringue. Um, I went to an all right school. I went to an all right, like not a posh school, like you didn't have to pay or anything, but it was also, it wasn't Waterloo Road either. Do you know what I mean? It was mid level, like, um, like uh, I don't know, like we had, uh, we had smart boards, do you know what I mean? But like we're also, our, our playground was called the Monkey Cage, so it was. Um, uh, I tell you what, this is a good tip for how to tell, like, if, if you went to a good school or if somebody else went to a posh school, you ask them, um, what did they call the big piece of gym equipment at the back of the gym? You know, against the wall. It's big, it's metal, it's different colours, um, it's not used for the whole seven years you're at school. <laughs> I don't think the PE teachers know how to take it off the wall. Do you know the thing I mean? Right? At my school, it was called an apparatus. <laughs> At a posh school, it's called an apparatus. Um, at a not so good school, it's just called um, wall bars. Um, and then if your school's like really in trouble, it's just called bars on the window. Um, oh, some of you went to those ones. Don't you? Um, can I just check, right? Because we used to play a game um, on the wall bars at my school, and I assumed it was a game that was played up and down the country in every secondary school. But the more I'm doing this bit of material, I'm starting to realise it might just have been my school. Um, which, if that's true, is terrible because I went to a church school. Uh, did anybody else play the game Crucify? <laughs> No, just, just us at the Church of England school. Honestly, um, Crucify was a game, right, where you'd run into the gym before the teachers had got in there, um, and you and uh, one other person uh, would race to the top of the wall bars, right? You'd run to, right to the top one, and you'd hook your arm into the top bar and let everything else dangle, right? So you look like Jesus on the cross. And you'd just long it out. you just, just so you could last the longest on there, right? Um, I did it with a girl called Caitlin Bell. She fainted and dropped the whole length. <laughs> she rose again three days later. Thank you very much. Uh, I know, I know. I, uh, I, learned, I learned how to drive when I was at school. I learned how to drive, um, but I took seven, took seven times to pass my test. Seven, that's bad, isn't it? Seven times to pass my test. Uh, there was only um, two invigilators at the test centre, so um, I had quite a few of them quite a few times, uh, I turned up to like test number five and I was like, hi Helen, why are you wearing a helmet? <laughs> um, test number five, test number five um, drove uh, over a roundabout. Uh, yeah, test, test number six, um, I had to do a reverse around a corner, I thought it was going really well and she went, Maisie, can you stop the car please? I said, yes, of course, why? She went, you've hit a pram. Um, so great, you guys have been lovely, I've been Maisie Adam, thank you very much. Thank you, Maisie Adam, well done. Thank you.